how to create a daily occurring meeting with Google Meet and how to share that to your Google Classroom. So you'll start by just opening up a new tab and coming to Google. You're gonna come over to your waffle and you're going to select the calendar. On your calendar, you're gonna see any events that you have pop up on here. I'm going to show you how to add your different events on here. You could see I have my daily occurring meeting set up for my students starting on Wednesday, and I'm gonna show you how we could get that and share that to Google Drive and to the Google Classroom. So you're gonna click on Create. You're going to start by giving your meeting a title. So I might call it Miss Murray Google Meet Daily, because we're gonna be meeting every day. You're gonna come over here and select the day of when you want it to start. So I want it to start on Wednesday the 1st. And I want it to begin, you're gonna change the time over here. And I want it to begin at 10.30. And I want it to go to 11 o'clock. And it doesn't matter if you go a little bit over 11 o'clock, it's not gonna throw you off. If you are the one hosting the event, it should still be on there until you hit end the event, then it will end. So if you go a little bit over, it's okay. You're going to click on more options on the bottom and you're going to see your event just opens up a little bit bigger and it's nicer to look at. So I could see my title. I could see I'm meeting April 1st starting at 1030. So you're going to click on, it's going to repeat. So you're going to click on where it says does not repeat and you're going to click on repeats every day, Monday through Friday. If you are a special area teacher and you only have to do it one day during the week, you could customize that and click one specific day that you're going to be doing it on. So you could select Tuesdays. But if you're a general ed teacher, we're gonna be on every day. So you can pick every day, Monday through Friday. So after that, you're gonna come down to where it says, shows the little video camera. And if you're using Google Meet, which is a video conferencing tool, you're going to drop down, add conferencing tool and just select Google Meet. Automatically, it will drop in a code for you and you are ready to go. So on the calendar, it says, where will this show up on your calendar? So you right here, you could decide, does it do you want to go on your personal calendar? Or you can link it directly with a classroom and it will show up on that calendar. But I would also make sure you post that link for the students so that they could easily access it. So once you do that, you can pick the color that you want it to show up. We'll just do purple so you can see it compared to my other one. When you are done, you could add description if you want. But um, if they have the link, that's all they really need. You'll click save. And you'll see it pops up right over here. So once you did that, now we're I'm going to show you how you could share that link directly to your Google Classroom. So if you hover right over what we just created and you click one time, you will see the Google Meet pops right up. So I want you to click on right next to it all the way to the right. It shows the double paper, which is copying it. So you're going to copy it to your clipboard, which basically means you just copied it. Then you're going to open up your Google Classroom. So I'm going to select my classroom right over here. I am going to go to Classwork. I am going to click on Create a Material. And I might post daily Google Meet with Miss Murray or whatever you'd like to title it. And once you do this one time, you don't have to keep posting the same link over and over. You don't have to keep generating a new link over and over again. This link will work every day that you go to use it. You'll just click twice or click with two fingers and you are going to paste that link in and it is there. So I don't want this link going up until Wednesday. So I'm going to drop down right over here and click on schedule. I'm going to schedule it to go up. On Wednesday, let's change this, which is April 1st. Happy April. Perfect day to start, April Fool's Day. <laughs> and you will select the time that I want it to go up. So you know what, 9.30 works out perfect. It will be up a little bit before 10.30. And I will hit schedule. Then it will generate and it will be right up here. And what I'm going to do for my students, which I think will be easy, I have it done by days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Each day, whatever day it's on, I'm just gonna drag it and throw it for the first thing. And then after Monday, I'll drag it and put it on Tuesday. But we're gonna be starting on Wednesday, so I'm just gonna drag this and throw it under Wednesday. That way, all the students need to do is click on it and click on the code, and this will open it up right away for them, and it will have them joining right in. 
it will say I am connecting. There I am. And you'll hit join now when you're ready to join. And that's what the students will hit as well. So that is basically how you create a repeating Google Meet and how you post it in the classroom. And once you do it once, it will be there and you can just reuse that over and over again. So if you have any questions, just let me know and it will appear on your calendar. Also, if I go up to my Google Calendar on here on my Google Classroom, I posted it on there before, so it should as well pop up right on here. Yep, see, you'll see it right on there. So I'll just have to delete it because now I have two on there. But that's it. That's creating Google Meet in Google Classroom.